In this video, we're looking at reading resources for your English language students that are free and online. Now, these resources are for adults or for kids or for teens. So whatever age group you're teaching, you can use them in your class. So let's take a look at number one, which is dreamreader.net. So when we go onto this website, we can see that we've got easy English, interesting English, fun English, practical English, academic English. So everything you could need if you're teaching, you know, any kind of level, any kind of age or any kind of topic. The home page has got all these different stories that we can read. For example, if we click on one, a story about the Eiffel Tower, for example, and on the right hand side, you've got these comprehension questions. So you can test your students understanding of the text and it has a printable lesson and quiz, a vocabulary worksheet and audio. And this is perfect for your students if they want to practice this at home. The Eiffel Tower, or as it is called in French, La Tour Eiffel, is a tall iron tower located on the Champ de Mars in Paris. That's funny, I thought I saw the Eiffel Tower in Las Vegas. What are the best reading lessons or texts on this website? I'm gonna show you. My students loved this text about Pele because you know, all my students, well, the boys love football. But Pele is a person that it doesn't really matter if you like football or not, it's still an interesting person to read about. It's nice and short. So I use this with my beginners or low intermediate level students or with my young learners. The second article that my students, especially my adult students really enjoyed was this one about the water frame, which was an invention back in the UK. And this text is actually for academic English students. So if you have students that are studying academic English, then again, this text can help you. And the third and final text from this website, which my students couldn't get enough of, which was the man who ate an airplane. Now, as you can imagine the title, you just want to read it. So all of my students asked, can we read this one? Can we read this one? So we started reading it and it turns out that yes, he did eat the airplane, but just in little pieces. And this one even comes with a video, although you do need to watch it on YouTube. He's actually eating pieces, metal pieces of car. I'm just gonna, it's unbelievable, you're... The next reading resource we're gonna take a look at is cowbird.com. So immediately, one of the great things I love about this website is that it's so visual. So we've got all these photos that are links to each story. Now, some of the stories are very short, some of the stories are very long, but one of the things my students love about this is they're very creative and very authentic. So compared to the previous reading resource, there is no academic English or leveled English. So this reading resource is not graded. We can browse the library so we can look at all the stories that are on the website or we can go search by topics. So this is really useful for English teachers because when we're teaching English with a course book, for example, we usually follow a list of topics. Now, the first reading text I used with my students, which they loved, was description of a best friend. So the first thing we see is two cats and one's got his arm around the other one, you know, like best friends. And then we go to the next page and there's always the photo followed by the text. And you can see here that this text is nice and short. And I use this to talk about our best friends. So this was actually a prompt for a speaking activity. So I got them to read this and then begin to describe their own best friend. If we click along, we can actually view all stories by this author. So this author is called Rubab. And if we click on this icon, we get to see the other stories that she's written or he's written. Now, this second story from Kalba.com is called First Love Versus True Love. And this was especially popular with my teen students. So we started with this lovely picture. So we had this short text and I got the students to just read this text and discuss the idea of love at first sight or whether the first love is your true love. And the next story that my students really liked, especially my younger students, was this one about preparing for kindergarten. And my adult students who are also parents, they also identified with this story. Now, a lot of the stories on this website are nice and short so they can be dissected and used for speaking activities later on in the class. The third website we're gonna check out, which is completely free and is graded for your learners, is commonlit.org. And again, this one has got loads of reading text that you can use with your students. When we're on the home page, all we need to do is go to browse content and we can search by genre, grade level, literary device, text set, theme. These are similar to the topics we saw in Cowbird. Now you don't have to make an account, so don't worry about that. The first popular reading text that we used on this website was about the rose that grew from concrete, which is actually a poem by Tupac. 
and this was particularly interesting for my teen students. I shared this with them, it's nice and short, it's a poem, and it also led to questions they had about Tupac as a person, and so this was interesting for them. On this website, we do have uh, questions we can ask students, so on each one you can see Q1 or Q2, and these are questions about the text. We can also do some assessment questions, which are broken up into parts. So we've got part A, part B, and part four. And so you can also use this for your students to practice either in class or at home. And finally, a discussion activity. Now this is really good for my students because I always want them to get speaking. So the ideas and themes that came from this poem, I use them in class. Another popular one that my students chose, particularly my older students, was the story of David and Goliath. Now, this is a story that everyone's familiar with, but a lot of them haven't read the story in English. You can see that this is a bit longer, so the grade level's higher, so I did use this with my more advanced learners. And I shared this with them, and they could use the questions to guide them. They could do the assessment questions by themselves as well. And then we did the discussion back in class. The final reading activity that I use with my most advanced learners from Common Lit was the one about The Landlady by Roald Dahl. Now this was interesting for them to use because it's quite a dark story with uh, you know, an unexpected ending. The fact that this text is so long and is for really for advanced learners was a challenge for my students and they really wanted to give it a go. So. You can see here there's a lot of assessment questions and a lot of guiding questions as well because this text is so long. Now the next website, so number four, is Story Nori. Now this is perfect for children, but if you have adults or teens that are also interested in short stories or fairy tales, then you could also share this with them. Once we're at the home page, we can see here that we have original stories, fairy tales, stories by classic authors, myths and educational and poems and music. Now the first story I want to share with you is Little Red Riding Hood. Now this one is a classic story and it's great because your students are probably already familiar with the story but they haven't read it in English. So we can either read it and you can set up a homework and the students can read this alone or we can listen to the story together. Once upon a time there lived a little country girl. You can also download the audio. So you can click here and you can download this and share this onto another platform if you don't want to share the website. The next story that I found really popular with my young learners was obviously Goldilocks and the Three Bears. And again, a story that they are familiar with in their own language. And we've got the audio, we've got a lovely picture, and we've got the short story. So it's about three minutes, 15 seconds to read. And again, this is perfect for your young learners. So the third one, so after Little Red Riding Hood, Goldilocks and the Three Bears is The Gingerbread Man. And again, this is a story that students are very familiar with, but not as much as the previous two. And you can see here as we go down, it is a bit longer than the other story. So think about which age groups you're gonna share this with. The fifth and final reading resource for your students online that is absolutely free is Simple Wikipedia. Now I know you probably use the Wikipedia's normal English version, but I feel that this website is perfect for your English learners. A lot of English speaking people do use Wikipedia's normal version to look up facts, events, or information about, well, anything really. So when we arrive at this website, you can see it looks very much the same as the normal Wikipedia website. And we've got all the same functions, so we can search for events, we can look at what's new, and we have the did you know section as well. Now obviously there are no single pages that I would recommend to use here. I would just again say to your students that if they do use Wikipedia in their own language, then start using simple English Wikipedia instead. So there you have five reading resources that you can use today in your class. And the best thing about all of these is they're free. So if you'd like your students to practice their reading in a fun and authentic way, then go ahead and share these websites with your students today. And I hope to see you in the next video.